We love getting your questions, so we want you to keep them coming via Facebook, Twitter, and on our webpage. Who knows, we might just answer your question here in the studio audience next. Welcome back to the Daily Helpline. With us today is our special guest and colleague, Dr. Judy Ho. Mm -hmm. Welcome, Dr. Judy. Thanks. I love it when you come. Oh, I have such a great time. Okay, so you know we love a good audience question, right? And when we asked you to submit some of yours on our Facebook page, man, did you deliver. Here are a few of our favorites. <laughs> hey, Spirit and Miles. The school year is coming up again, and my 12-year-old son wants to walk home with his friends. Now, I don't want to make him a mama's boy, but I would prefer to still pick him up from school every day. What do you guys think? Okay, I get it. We live in crazy times, blah, 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 blah. It's the same thing that our parents said about us. It's the same thing that we'll say about the next generation. Mm -hmm. Let that boy be a man. Look out the window, girl. Mm -hmm. Look out the window. That's just me, though. <laughs> I, I, I hear you though, but he's not a man yet, he's 12 years old. So mm -hmm. I would say that depends on the neighborhood. If the neighborhood's dangerous, obviously you gotta assess your situation. But I do agree with Spirit in that, let him walk home. I mean, I, I get that we are in different times, but you gotta let him move on so that he can begin to grow up and become yeah. a man. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, if it's dangerous, that's a different thing. So right. assess it. Right. And uh, let's do a little gradual exposure. Maybe you can just let him start walking home once a week, then move up to twice a week, and then busy yourself with something else when you're supposed to pick your son up so that you're not constantly thinking about what should I be doing, what's he doing. You gotta move on with your life too. And you got some free time in the afternoon, go get a pedicure or something. That's right, don't be the helicopter mom. All right, now let's look at the next one. Hey Miles and Spirit, my name's Megan, and I had a quick question for you. Um, my boyfriend and I have been dating for about two years, and he wants to move in together, but I don't want to until we're engaged. How can I bring that up without making it sound like an ultimatum? I guess first, you need to decide if it is an ultimatum or not, <laughs> instead of if it sounds like one, because to me, it, it sounds like it is one, and if it is one, it is one. There's nothing wrong with ultimatums. It's not really about delivering ultimatum, it's in the delivery. So it's how you communicate that. Let him know your needs. Don't come in with a hard, fast, black and white line because he may have different needs than you, but you, know, you guys need to get your needs on the same page and just communicate that in a nice, gentle way. But speak your truth, it's important. That's right. And think a little bit about why it's important to you to not move in until you're engaged. What are those reasons? And if you have valid reasons for them, let him know that. And if he is going to be the person that you want to marry, then he's going to respect that. So really help him to understand why it's important for you to wait on this. Mm -hmm. And before you ask the question, see, I'm just going to get with you just a little bit on this one, girlfriend. Because if this was not an ultimatum, how come he hasn't learned this before now? You know, we usually talk about the things that are important to us early in a relationship and all the way through a relationship, so the expectation is usually understood. So if he doesn't know two years into the relationship that you don't want to move in with the, your mate, whether it's him or anybody else, until there's at least an engagement, I think we need to do some self-assessment. I'm mm -hmm. just saying. All right, let's see the next one. I'm just saying. Hi, Spirit and Al. My cousin wants to name her daughter Joshua Nee. That may limit that child's abilities in the future. However, because I don't know how to approach her, can you give me some advice? Before I would have said it's none of your business. <laughs> Let him name her what she wants to name her. But when I learn something, it, it, it will impact them. And if you do mm -hmm. care about the person, tell them. I mean, you can't worry about whether you're gonna hurt their feelings or not. You may be the only one that they'll hear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Miles was saying, it, look, it's none of their business, stay out of it. And I had to say, listen, me and you. Okay, the bottom line is that there is tons, tons, tons of research, tons of experiments on this, mm -hmm. and we know definitively that the name of someone affects their ability to get into college, their ability to get jobs, the yeah. type of friends they have, because we judge before we even see. So if you mm -hmm. are naming your child Bone Quisha, John Quine, all of these wild and crazy things that you think are unique, Believe me, somebody else thinks so too, but it might not be in a good way. Mm -hmm. So you need to just have a real come to somebody's higher power conversation. Mm -hmm. And you may want to look at some other programs that have done real research on this. Don't yeah. come from a place of judgment, come from a place mm -hmm. of concern and just say, listen, this is our family. I care about where we go. And so we all want to have a responsibility to the children that we're raising. And, just and take a look. I love the example you gave me because I didn't think about this. I thought it feels like judgment because I've got yeah. friends that are mm -hmm. named names that are 
long or unusual yeah. and it doesn't make me think of them any differently, but you said it's an unconscious psychological yes, effect that, that if right. you pick up a resume and it's got a name that's too long, your brain will set it aside and not yep. look at it again. Automatically. So just, just consider those yeah. things. Good luck though. We appreciate you guys. Great questions. Keep them coming. We love to get them. We love to answer them. Now up next, we meet a mother and daughter duo who are acting like anything but. Stick around. There's more after this. <laughs> We love getting your questions, so we want you to keep them coming via Facebook, Twitter, and on our webpage. Who knows, we might just answer your question here in the studio audience next.